Hello guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez, and welcome to another exciting episode of Moshi Monsters Biography, and this is the last episode for today, because it's uh, it's nothing but Moshi Monsters Biography all day, election day. So thank you all so much for, for keeping the channel alive, you guys rock. <sighs> Can't believe it, until, uh, and you better tune in tomorrow to see who won the vote. Joe Biden or Donald J. Trump, who will become the next president of the United States? You better tune in tomorrow to find out. But for now, let's get right into the episode. As you can see, we have another Bosch thing to take a look at, and this will be the second to come out of the Beastie set. So, we hope you're, we hope you're ready for this, because thank you so much for tuning in, and welcome to Sam, and welcome to Moshi Monsters Biography. Hope you're ready, because this character is, um, is going to snore you to death. Got it? Good. Let's begin. That's right. It's Humphrey out of the out of the Beastie set. Second motion to come out of that set. First being Bernie, who was on episode fifty one. So I've seen. Yeah, please go check it out. As you can see, this is episode one hundred eighty eight, and you have seen our previous episode, which was episode one hundred eighty seven. Taking a look at Hum Plump, the link to that will be on the top right corner of the screen for you to go watch right now. But now with all that's out of the way, let's not waste any more time here. Let's just go ahead and jump right to the story. Guy, okay, good. Here we go. All right. So who is Humphrey? Humphrey, the story, the story hippopotamus, is a common mushling in the BC set within the Moshi Monsters franchise. Humphrey is a hippopotamus who works hard, but once they start sleeping, they have they have difficulty waking up. Oh boy, that's not not what I see right here. Character stats here. Name Humphrey set beasties. Mushi number that that's right here. Zero to three. Get a zero to three. Species story hippopotamus. Rarity common. Released on January 9, two thousand nine. Oh boy, eleven years ago, uh, uh, nearly twelve years ago. The uh, um, Humphrey was released. So yeah, 12 years ago, nearly 12 years ago. Um, and the figure is in Series 1, so that's pretty much it. And for the watching combination, to get, in order to catch Humphrey, you're going to need yeah, Magic Beans, Crazy Daisy, and Hot City Peppers, all of any color. So again, you're going to need Magic Beans, Crazy Daisy, and Hot City Peppers, all in any color of your choice, to get Humphrey. Got it? Good. Now let's get to the biography. Yeehaw! Quit logging, gacking around, and say howdy to the good old Bosch things that love digging, sewing, milking, and mowing. If they're not busy working on the ranch, story hit goes, enjoy grab the, 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 the grabbing 40 winks under the shady you know, under the shade of a wacky windmill. Trouble is, 40 winks it often turns into 40 hours, and that's my and that's my long time when you're supposed to be mixing Lazy Daisy Moonshine. That was just a mini bio, but, I, but there's more to the story, so let's continue on. Um, I've been lucky enough to visit several hickle wrenches, and nothing beats watching the sun go down after a rollicking bar dance and a few slugs of hickle firewater. Hmm. That's very shit. I'm gonna say right here. In the character encyclopedia, main story hippopotamuses like Humphrey are happy little country critters who enjoy the simple outdoor life. They love farming. Um, they love farming their land, but too much work makes these snoozy beasties incredibly drowsy. Catching forty wings under the shade of a wacky windmill and then a quick strum of the banjo will usually perk them up. Howdy, partner! If any Moshi fancies mixing lazy daisy moonshine can and can stand the smell of manure in the morning, yuck! Then they should settle up and ride on out on. Right on out to Skedaddle Prairie, down in Whoopin' Holler Valley. This is where the adorable story story hippopotamuses live, work, and sleep a lot. Home of the rain. I know. Zzzz. Yeah. Zzzz. Yeah. We got home on the range. When they're not fast fast asleep, happy hippos work monstrously hard on their ranches. A day's work includes digging fields, sowing seeds, milking cows, and mowing grass. It's tiring. Just think about it. I know. Data file, Moshi type, species, species, story hippopotamus, habitats, get out of prairie dog, and get out of prairie down in whooper the the, the whooping holler valley. BC buddies are she she jeepers and Bernie. Okay. Bernie was on episode 51. Please go check out the episode you haven't seen yet. As for Shishi and Jeepers, they'll both be discussed in future episodes of the series. Please keep an eye out for those. Uh, for the notes, large brimmed hat to keep the sun out of Humphrey's sleepy eyes. Large nostrils mean that loud story can be heard from miles away. And, and hippopotamuses love to chew enchanted corn. Perhaps this makes them sleepy. I know, that's pretty much it. And the official Clothable Figures Guide. When it comes to the country, ain't no finer to tell you all that about it than a story hippopotamus. These farming machines love nothing better than digging, sowing, milking, 
and moving and generally working the ranch up at Skedaddle Prairie down in Woman Holler Valley. Of course, if you work hard, you snooze hard too. And all story hippopotamuses enjoy grabbing 40 weeks under the shade of a wacky windmill. They also love playing the banjo and chewing on stalks of enchanted corn. So that's pretty much it. Look over at the habitat. Story hippos live, it, live and work on the ranches scattered across Seattle Prairie down in Woodman Holler Valley. And as picture on the right side of your screen, you can see Woodman Holler Valley picture right here. And right down there is Seattle Prairie. So take a look at it very carefully. That's the picture see here. Uh, moving on to the traits. Personality, happy, go lucky, snoozy, and bumpkinly. Likes picking the banjo and chewing enchanted corn. Dislikes concrete and the smell of manure in the morning. I know, right? And finally for the trivia, Humphrey dislikes concrete ass due to their predisposition to sleep and general laziness. It is not a, a particularly comfy surface. Humphrey and Pip dislike concrete ass for Pip. That that can't, that monster is in the nutty set. I'll talk about it in a future episode, so please stay tuned. But that's it, guys, for Humphrey, ladies and gentlemen. Final thoughts are ready for the character. Hmm, I don't know about that that much, but yes, Humphrey is much, much better. Always a good, always a good monster to take a look at. Always by your side, and I'm proud to say Humphrey is definitely here to stay as, as he gets to show up in a Moshi sleep story. But with that being said, let's get one set. I'm going to rate Humphrey with a score of 8 out of 10. Great character, always the best, always the best out there, but nothing else to say right here. That's the bottom line here for Humphrey. Oh, it's a good choice. But that's my personal conservative opinion. Let me know your thoughts and your pieces in the comments below. If you agree or disagree with this character, please let, drop your thoughts in the comments below. But with that being said, that's it. It's over. Thank you so much for watching another episode of What She Wants to And that one it was on Humphrey. We hope you guys enjoyed this Election Day Marathon. Uh, we hope you guys voted as usual. We hope you had a great, safe day. And we hope you made America a better place to live in. We'll be back with our regular scheduling programs. We'll return tomorrow, including local history, and local history too, and every Kurt Oranges. And of course, the Warner Blocks will return very, very soon, right before you know it. But with that being said, all things so much to And thank you so much for watching this marathon. And, the, and just like that, the letter H is officially complete! Yay! So now we can go to learn I tomorrow here on Moshi Monsters by Agony. We hope you guys had a lot of fun. For now, thank you for watching. I'll be guys sending you a sound. I'll see you tomorrow with another new episode of Moshi Monsters by Agony. Looks like we got another epic Moshi to take a look at. Another legendary Moshi to take a look at tomorrow. Episode 189 will be the final Moshi to come out of the fluffy set. And it's Iggy. Spelled I-G-G-Y. So stay tuned. You're not going to miss you on this. I hope you're, you're ready for this. We'll see you for the start of the letter I tomorrow. Here on Moshi Monsters by Iggy. Focusing on Iggy. 189. For now, thank you for watching. I'm Igos Sanchez. Please remember to leave a like. Share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications so I don't miss new videos. Subscribe with notifications so I don't miss another new video from me. As we're on the road to 400 subscribers. I want to thank you all for watching. Peace out. Have a great day. Happy Ghost Sanchez. And do remember that Black Lives Matter. We're here to make America great again. Until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. Thank you so much for watching. The power will protect you always. Let's vote, America. Vote for Joe Biden or vote for Donald J. Trump. Who knows? What are the, we call the next president? We'll tell you about it tomorrow. For now, thank you for watching. Like, fair, subscribe. I'm Miguel Sanchez for Moshi Monsters Biography, and I'll see you in another video. Laters.